I'd like to just thank Talk LP for inviting Navco to be part of the Apex Grocery Virtual Mindshare. Many of you are familiar with Navco. We're a leading provider of video, intrusion alarms, and access control. We are your value-added business partner with unmatched expertise. We've worked with many customers over the past 50 years, many of you included here today, and understand the challenges that you face. Uh, we can also provide 4K video platforms that tie into certain analytics such as POS transactions, virtual trip lines, motion triggers, et cetera, making it possible for you quickly to review video footage and easily find the desired video at a later time and date. Audio and curbside pickup options have also been increasing in the last few months, and we are looking for an increased demand in that as well. So for more information, feel free to visit us at navco.com or call us at 800-788-3779. And now for another phenomenal presentation is before us, and NAVCO is proud to sponsor the next session entitled Keeping Employees Engaged in a Time of Crisis, presented by Terry Stanley, the Director of Operations of Lowe's Food, based out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So let's welcome Terry and enjoy the rest of Mindshare. Well, thank you, uh, Angie. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, appreciate you stepping out to take a few minutes to uh, talk about uh, a very exciting uh, opportunity for all of us right now as we face the new norm of the pandemic. Uh, again, my name is Terry Stanley. Um, I represent Lowe's Foods. I'm the Director of Store Operations. And what I'll be doing is just toggling through a few uh, pictures for you here so you can get an idea uh, about Lowe's Foods. Lowe's Foods is in the supermarket industry. Uh, we're a very regional a based uh, supermarket chain uh, based mostly in the Carolinas with one store in Virginia. So we currently have 81 stores that represent two banners. Also, uh, we have 50 uh, independent IGAs that we own. And uh, we also have two banners that are also in the Carolinas and uh, go down into Georgia. And uh, we have four banners in total, about 131 stores. And we also have two warehouses, uh, one in North Carolina and one in South Carolina. So we do self-distribute. And then we distribute also to about 600 other independent retailers across most of the uh, Southeast and uh, into the Northeast. Um, my particular role is, as I said, is the director of store operations uh, that um, pretty much oversee all of asset protection, oversee labor, labor management, budgeting and projecting uh, our CGO processes, also workers comp, general liability and safety. So just to give you an idea of all the different things that I oversee, uh, we use a couple of really, um, I guess, um, very useful tools that help us manage our business daily at Lowe's. Uh, we use a, the Logile platform for our labor uh, management. We use uh, Zebra Analytics Profitech for our POS analytics, and we also use Itasca's Magic for our CGO. So for those of you that are uh, in or close to the grocery industry, probably names you, you very well recognize and uh, gives you an idea of uh, the different tools that we use. Um, again, uh, my uh, job is a little unique in that I oversee operations and asset protection. So always looking uh, at how to protect our business, but to keep that guest and that host um, safe and, and, and making sure it's a great experience for them as well. The last thing I'll mention about Lowe's is we are very heavily driven to concepts, uh, entertainment, uh, exclusive products, uh, and that's really what we hang our hat on. Um, not a low price or, uh, you know, a hot ad. Uh, we really are more of a uh, entertainment uh, exclusive uh, retailer that really uh, tries to offer our uh, guests um, a unique experience. Today, what I'd like to talk about is how do you keep your employees engaged in times of crisis? And I know all of you guys have struggled with this. Some it's keeping them engaged when we're closed. Uh, others like in the grocery industry where we've been open and our business has changed dramatically, seeing uh, tremendous shifts in the business as uh, restaurants were closed, 
and that that um, that guest is 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 forced, if you will, to cook at home more, uh, to have more meals at home, pe- more people working from home. So we saw a, just a dramatic increase in our business. Uh, that changes everything. And then how do you keep those employees, those hosts, as we call them at Lowe's, engaged in a time of crisis? Uh, the first thing I'll talk about is just, you know, what are, what do we usually do? What are the normal types of uh, communication that we use? We're very basic in this regard in that all of the traditional communication aspects we use, uh, we focus heavily on email. Uh, a lot of reporting, and we use a SharePoint intranet site, which is uh, allows us to put documents and other um, forms of communication out on the uh, company's intranet. Anyone with access can go out and uh, and pull those products off and, and use them to communicate with their store teams. Uh, we also have a computer learning uh, tool. Uh, we call it Alex Lee University. Alex Lee is our parent company, so. Uh, all of our banners either use this or will be using it uh, in the near future. And this allows us to use a variety of forms of uh, training uh, and learning tools uh, for our hosts uh, and something that we rely on as part of the onboarding process, part of uh, the ongoing training that we do. I'm sure many of you use some tools that are similar. Uh, we also use an app, uh, Lodge Out Officers. A task management app uh, that we use uh, and we we use it uh, daily. We also use the internet. We have a workplace safety internet site. And then lastly, uh, we have an awareness program that we're very proud of and I'll share each of these key points uh, as we go along. As I stated, we found a lot of opportunities, uh, not only with this shift in business as we entered uh, the pandemic, but also the amount of hosts that we were forced to hire. And we hired uh, over 3,000 hosts across our organization in a very quick time. So onboarding was was ramped up. The way we had to go to to the host with communications just changed. Um, it was changing almost by the minute. So we leaned really heavily on uh, these four areas of our communication uh, tools. Uh, one was the SharePoint uh, internet site, uh, task management tool, our workplace safety uh, internet site, and of course, uh, our AP awareness program. So as we dug in and started to see the shifts in the business, this is where we felt like uh, we should spend the bulk of our time communicating uh, to get the uh, the best results. Uh, here's an example of our daily uh, SharePoint uh, communication. Uh, we decided that we would use uh, a gatekeeper, if you will, for SharePoint. So all um, changes that we just felt really needed to get to the stores on a daily basis went out through a store communications update on SharePoint. Uh, Marketing was our gatekeeper for this. So anything that came down that required uh, communications, uh, we sent directly to marketing. Marketing captured this information. And as you can see in this particular example, the governor of North Carolina had placed an executive order uh, requiring mask. Uh, so we captured that again, and we, we posted that. Uh, the good thing about our SharePoint was uh, our store managers knew to expect this every day, same time, same station. Uh, so it was a great way to go out and get the, those most important tools uh, on a daily basis. Our task management solution, again, which is uh, we were afforded this opportunity through our partnership with Lodge Isle, which is our uh, labor force management tool. Any host uh, that wants to get their schedules on their uh, personal device, on their uh, laptop at home or on their cell phone, uh, they can opt in for communications if they choose. 
So as things shifted, as things changed, as we got deeper into the pandemic, we really leaned on a gatekeeper, or excuse me, on task manager to really eliminate all of task-based emails. Task manager gives us the opportunity to send out any task that requires action. If it needs a photo, a video, uh, a picture, you know, we, we can do all of this. It gives us the opportunity to use dashboards. Uh, and the real thing that helps us with task manager is uh, it gives us speed to market and it gives us accountability. We're able to set up escalations, alerts, uh, and even ad hoc tasks if we need to. Again, we use a, a gatekeeper for this. We use a, uh, our labor manager, people uh, in the business uh, that need to get something to the store quickly, uh, get the task manager to, uh, to the labor manager who then formulates that and it goes out. And the great thing about this tool is it only goes to the person that needs it. It tells them what they need to do, when they need to do it. It requires a picture or video if needed. So an example would be when the governor of North Carolina sent out the uh, proclamation to uh, be on mask by 5 p.m. on Friday. At 4.30 on Friday, uh, we could ask the stores to take a picture, upload that to task manager. And we knew instantly every store that had hung the pictures and, uh, and were in uh, compliance and any stores that didn't comply by 4.30, then we escalated that to their division uh, director, who was then able to place a call and say, hey, it's, it's 4.30. Why do we not have the signs hung? Let's get on the program. So we love the fact that it holds us accountable. It gets it out there quickly. And uh, we found this to be just an, an excellent uh, tool for us to communicate uh, to our host uh, during this pandemic. Another way that uh, we really stepped up our communications was through our intranet site for our workplace safety champions. There are a number of folks in our stores that don't have email capability. Safety, all aspects of safety and cleaning really rose as everyone knows during the pandemic. It continues today. This tool allows us again to send out and communicate with our store safety champions as often as we need to. Um, they get notifications on their phone, just like it was a Facebook page. They can upload pictures, they can upload videos, they can uh, communicate back and forth with us through personal messaging or through uh, based messaging. But the good thing about our workplace safety uh, website is it's a closed group. We control it. Nothing can be posted that doesn't go through our gatekeeper again. So it's a very neat and tidy way for us to communicate. And then lastly is our host awareness program. And, and we call it Food for Thought. We've been utilizing Food for Thought for uh, a number of years, uh, very, very successfully. Um, our Food for Thought program is a awareness program that consists of videos. It consists of posters, a poster campaign. We have speaking points for our daily huddles. Uh, it requires uh, ALU learning on a monthly basis by all hosts in our organization. And when these hosts sit down and watch our videos, uh, two and a half to three minute long videos every month, we're able to track and know all of our hosts that see it. Uh, we have had a 95% or greater success rate for the better part of three years. Um, I will tell you, we use a unique form. Uh, we have a partner in calibration that uh, just really understands the uniqueness of our brand, the uniqueness of our company. Uh, they understand very much our target audience. I mean, we're looking at long timers that have been with us for 40 years. And then we're looking at just tons of young hosts that are still in high school. And how do you communicate messages about safety? and asset protection and, and all of the things that are so critical to our business in a fun, unique way. And I have to say that uh, our business partners calibration do it absolutely uh, well. And uh, we're very proud of what we offer from an awareness campaign. What changed during the pandemic uh, really is, is uh, only, a, it only happens because of that 
uh, great collaboration that we have with calibration in that we have so many uh, pictures and videos stockpiled that we can really hit an, an obstacle like uh, the pandemic, reach out to calibration, and then instantly we can create a new topic or a new script that's on point. Uh, and a case, uh, a couple of uh, points that, that I will make is that we quickly shelved uh, our planned uh, food for thought videos for the months of April, May, and June. And we created new topics with new scripts. Our first was around health and wellness, uh, flu virus avoidance. The second month, we focused on social distancing. And then our last month, be wise and sanitize. So uh, again, speed to market really reached over 95% of our host. All of our new hosts are brought into the loop immediately, and we're very proud of, of, of this process. So here's an example of the poster program. Uh, this was our There's No Place Like Home. When you talk about getting damaged uh, or misplaced merchandise back to the shelf. So here's the poster. Now what I'd like to do is take just a minute and let you see the corresponding video that went along with this particular campaign. It's time for Lowe's Food for Thought. Here's a little something something on asset protection. So now that you've had a chance to see our normal uh, campaigns, this is an example of how we shifted during the pandemic to be more on point with our topic. And this was our music for thought, if you will, and really uh, featured our uh, Be Wise and Sanitize. And now to follow up, I'll give you a little chance to see the video that corresponded with this particular campaign. Rolling. Merle. <laughs> In three, two, one. Hey y'all, Michael Magno here with some music for thought. Keep things safe, keep things clean. Those foods says these are important things for you, for me, for all human beings. <laughs> See what I did there? I said beans. Checkouts become a mess. Every half an hour, sanitize, oh yes. Break rooms, nuke them every three hours, dudes. Unless you went home, then someone else gets to. Be wise, sanitize. 
your mask, your hands, stuff you touch a bunch. Give germs a big old punch. Work together, departments and hosts. Kick into action when it's time. Do your thing and I'll do mine. That's right. That means get to it, y'all. Social distance is important, too. Stay your distance in the break rooms, too. Just because there's a disconnect doesn't mean I don't give a heck to you. Be wise. Sanitize. Your mask, your hands, stuff you touch a bunch. Give germs a karate punch. Be wise. Be wise. Sanitize. Your mask, your hands, stuff you touch a bunch Give germs a superhero punch Be wise, be wise, sanitize Your mask, your hands, stuff you touch a bunch Send germs out to lunch Woo! Um, banana guy, they don't want you to touch anything And with that, I'd like to thank you all for your time. I hope you found some things here that were helpful to you or your organization, maybe generated some thoughts uh, for you and how you could go about it differently. Always interested in learning new uh, ideas myself. So again, thank you very much for your time.